Hello and welcome to the biggest microwebber tutorial yet. But this is just so because we will be taking a look at the uh, core features of the CMS. Namely the live edit feature and the drag and drop feature. So keep in mind that uh, you can go to the live edit group from this blue button or from this green button. In all cases though, you have to write down your title in the admin panel before you can go into live edit view. So we just navigated and we are at our site. As you see, what you see is what you get in this case because you are working on the site interface itself with the uh, difference that all uh, the fields are editable of course. So let's see, um, this text right here can be edited and uh, formatted in two ways. Either from this pop-up window right here which appears when you select a text just like I did. Or you can navigate all the way up to the top of the page where we have another format menu for our text. If you wonder how to rearrange items on your website, this slider right here, I will show you this one. You, you just click, drag and drop the content through the screen and you can easily rearrange it. I will be deleting this module now and I will show you how to add content to your site in a very very quick way. So this right here is the modules bar. We have different modules and we have a text module. I'm lacking a text module because I accidentally deleted mine. So I'm choosing a place to insert it and I just inserted it. I can of course easily edit the text inside this module. There are several pages of modules. Uh, very different in purpose. For example, there are different uh, modules for online shops, for blogs, for for whatever you wish really. So, for example, we've got a Google Maps. You can drag and drop it easily from the modules bar to the page. And clicking on this little bar right here uh, reveals the name of the module and its settings. So each different module has different settings. The Google Maps had an address and a zoom slider. For example, the posts um, module will have totally, totally different settings. For example, like this, we have very complicated settings in the posts module. Uh, clicking back for something interesting, let's see. I will show you the empty element, uh, which is very useful whenever you have difficulty with inserting a module, for example, when there are narrow spaces between different elements. So you've got all this yellow field right here and when inserting another module, here's what we get. A bigger space for the multiple columns. Using the slider I can rearrange the ratio between different elements in the columns. And I have of course the option to uh, set the columns to 5 or 4 but I will remain to free at the moment. So I can insert three different modules in the multiple columns one. Keep in mind that the empty element module uh, is uh, just remained on the interface. It's just how it works. So I insert a picture module, a text module and uh, perhaps a shopping cart. We have three different modules inside the columns. Uh, you can easily delete the module from this cross so it will delete only the third column of the multiple columns um, so I can substitute this with a video module let's say but this is a little space for a good overview of a video so I'm just rearranging these elements I can of course uh, delete the video too the third column or delete the multiple columns all together from the upper cross on this. So, uh, aside from modules, we have some layouts. You can switch to layouts from this uh, little uh, blue bar. We have 15 or 16 layouts all together. 
they have a description when you hover your mouse over them. So I inserted a rather complicated layout which includes a sidebar, some text, a header um, and some pictures so it consists of many elements. Let's upload a picture so I can show you something because you can drag and drop and rearrange um, items, elements in this case, elements even in layouts. For example, I will show you how to let's put this one outside the layout. It will receive another look. So we have a bigger picture because we just took it from the layout and inserted it somewhere else. You can of course delete elements from the layouts. For example, I don't need this header, so I will delete it. And this is what I get. Whenever you feel the need to upload an image or a video or a file in a quicker way, click on this icon. So wherever your cursor is, the cursor of your mouse, you will insert an image, a video or a file. For example, I just inserted a picture and as you saw this um, this place was where my cursor was before inserting so we have a quick menu right here with actions we can go back to the admin panel we can view our website as a random visitor and we have some different options I just published my content because it was not visible before and I will be able to view it if I wish to of course as a random visitor. So I hope uh, that it was an interesting tutorial for you. Don't forget to subscribe to us, follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook.